What up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we are answering the question of how to create a list in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What up everybody? So in today's video, like I mentioned, we're talking about how to create a list and in particular, I want to show you four different methods that you can use to create a list in Python. So method number one is essentially just using the list um, constructor and you can use this list constructor if you use it this way. This will essentially give you an empty list and I'm going to touch more about this as we jump to method four because there also is there also are some cool things that you can do with this list constructor to kind of create lists um, using other data types and other structures and so method number one again just use this list constructor because as you can see here if I run this you'll just see that it prints out a list and essentially behind the scenes a list is just these are represented by these square brackets that you see below and that is what leads us to method number two so method number two as I mentioned is just using that basic um, bracket syntax where if I create this or put anything in it like so if I can, if I do this, I essentially I get the same result uh, as long as I show you it. Um, if I run this now, you'll see with method number one and method number two, they get the same result. But I can also create a list by just typing stuff um, in here if I wanted to. Because essentially, like I mentioned, internally the list is just represented as these brackets. And you just can either create an empty list and then you can do things such as append or inserting into the list. Or you can move on to method number three, which you can create a list with a bunch of stuff in it by just using either one of these syntaxes. So let's jump into method number three, and I'll show you how you can create a non-empty list using different data types and whatnot in Python. So like I mentioned, method number three can utilize this, either of the, well, method number three, we're gonna mostly utilize this syntax, this bracket syntax to create a non-empty list. In the previous two methods I showed you, those are methods that are used to essentially create empty lists. Like if you needed to start with an empty, just straight from scratch, list. Um, but method number three is, is a different method in the sense that we can create a list with our different objects. And that's a nice thing because a list in Python is essentially an ordered you know, data structure. So anything I put in here will be in the appropriate order um, that we or in that order that we put it into the list. And so it's also nice because unlike maybe maybe other languages such as like C, C++ and stuff like that, Python lists can have multiple um, data types in it. Whereas like in other language, you have to kind of declare like, okay, this list is specific or this list or this array is specifically for other, you know, for ints or for floats or for strings. Whereas in Python, what I can do here is I can say, hey, look, here's here's ints, here's a string. Well, I can even put another list inside of a list. And look, here's this, the basic di dictionary syntax, or I can put dictionaries in lists as well. And I can even change this up and I can make this like 2.5. And so like, look, I have all the kind of different data types that you would think that you could put in here. And if I run this, you'll see um, the output of it is just that list of those objects. And the type of that, that list that I created is, again, it's a list. Um, and so that's a method that you can use to, like if, for instance, you know what you need to go into this list, like, hey, I always need to have this list to be set to these values and I'm gonna use it throughout this thing. You can go in and, and just, you know, code and put all the stuff in there um, and you can, you know, whatever you need uh, and update it and it should print out a list with all those different values in it that you need. And so that's method number three. You essentially create a list by just instantiating it with all the stuff that you need contained within that list and you're good to go. So method number four, like I mentioned above, is if you if, is that we're gonna essentially um, use this list constructor to create lists from other things. So let's hop right in and start talking about method number four. Hey, I just wanna jump in real quick, say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And while well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. All right, so like I mentioned, method number four is essentially utilizing this list constructor. And what I've done, gone and done is essentially I've cre created other um, data types such as a tuple, a dictionary, and a set. And sets look familiar. Look, if you haven't seen sets in Python, they look similar to that of a dictionary other than the fact that they don't have a key value pairing in it. But essentially what I've gone and done, and I, as I've utilized, what's nice about this tuple is anything that has kind of like those iterators in them, um, like a dictionary, a list, and tuples, and uh, so excuse me, a, a tuple, a list, um, a set, and a dictionary have iterators through them. Essentially what you can do is utilize this list constructor and you can drop them in. So if I were to print these these guys out, um, essentially what you'll see is, I'll just go ahead and do that really quick, quick is I'll print out top and then just copy this and then the dictionary and then we'll give this a space so that we can adequately see this. 
and we'd go down and be low. But essentially, I'll print out these tuples. You'll see that they're different data types. But then I utilize, I drop them in that list constructor, and essentially that'll take them and turn them from that tuple form that they're in to a list. And that's what's nice about this list constructor. Now, with some things like a dictionary, you kind of need to be careful because essentially, like when you, like say you loop through a dictionary in a, in a loop, when you're looping through that, you're actually looping through the keys. And so when you convert like a list, a dictionary to a list, it's actually going to take the key values of what you have. So if I run this below, you're going to see that that here's the different, um, so here's other methods, one, two, three, and one, two, and three, right? The list that we created before. Now here's my tuple, and then there's my dictionary, and then there's my set. Well, when I go from a list, from a tuple to a list, or convert a list from a tuple, essentially I get, there's, there it is, there's the tuple, and there's the list format of it, and you can see it's a type list. And then the dictionary, look, it's just the high and the what, the key values, not the actual, the, or the keys, and not the actual values of one and three. So I get a list of just the keys right there. And then from a set, I just take that and it converts from the set format to a list. And so that is one of the other methods that you can use to create a list in Python. And so a lot of times this is used where you have certain situations where like you're moving data across and, you, and it comes from one form to another and you wanna verify or make sure that it's in list format. Yeah, uh, you can utilize this list constructor can, to convert it to that format. And so again, these four methods, these are methods that you can use um, to either to create empty lists, however you want. A lot of times if you're creating an empty list, a lot of times people will just use this bracket operator. That's more, probably the most common thing that you'll see. Um, if you need to instantiate lists with, you know, all the stuff that you want already pre-populated in it, you can do it this way. And again, what you can put in a list can be pretty much anything. You can put numbers, strings, lists, lists of lists, uh, dictionaries, whatever you need, sets, whatever you want, you can put it inside that list. And then the last one, like I mentioned, is converting from other data types to actual list format. So I hope this has provided value. If it has, please click that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, we'll subscribe. Let's continue to learn more about Python, different programming uh, languages. And until next time, keep on programming.